Let's talk about press releases. We'll start with a simple definition. A press release is a statement that is issued to the media containing information in the public interest. Back in the day, it would usually be sent via post, but these days it's always sent to the media via email. This is why it's important to have a good contact list, just like we discussed in Chapter 1. There is one crucial question you must ask yourself before writing and sending a press release. Is this newsworthy? You can, of course, create and publish as many releases as you wish, but if it lacks news value, no journalist will pay attention to it. There is also another thing to keep in mind. If you send rubbish to journalists, you will lose their respect and they will be less likely to take your future releases seriously. So make sure you take a step back and think about what you're going to send them and put yourself in their place. Ask yourself, if I were a journalist, would I do a story based on this release? Be honest with yourself and keep your emotional attachment to the campaign at bay. You want to have a sober view. It's also important to think about the human angle. Apart from essential elements of a news story that any journalist will need to write a story, such as facts and figures, there's also the question of human interest. This is where you can help them by offering case studies and real voices, and a press release is a great place to do this. Remember, you need to make it easy for the journalists to write the whole story. It is also customary for governments, organizations, and businesses to have an online portal where they publish all of their press releases. I've listed the links to some of the biggest human rights organizations' media sections for you in the resource section below. I recommend that you check these out to learn how organizations structure their media. But more on that in the next lesson. There are, of course, many different situations when you would send out a press release, and it is important that you tailor it to that purpose. Is it for a planned event, like a launch or a campaign or a project or a report? Or is it for a current story that is making the news? that you as an organization or campaigner can offer commentary on. When I was working in PR, we had to carefully think about these things before approaching journalists. Why would they want to read this? Who cares? I would often get journalists laughing at me on the phone if I tried to pitch them an idea that wasn't well thought out. Sometimes you can also get journalists interested in your event or launch if you have partnered with a high-profile event or person. Here are three examples of scenarios where it would be good to send out a press release. Reactive news. Without any warning, the British government pulls 750 million pounds of funding for affordable housing in the UK. You work for a housing charity and you have been campaigning for increased affordable housing for years. This is terrible news for the people you campaign for. You need to make people understand why this is bad news, who it will affect, and how it will affect them. Launch. U.S. company Apple launches a new product. Yes, it's all over the news and there is even a massive event where they announce it and it is live streamed on the internet. But journalists and tech bloggers need a document or a web page that has all of the technical information about the new product. For instance, high-res photos, videos, and a few great quotes from the CEO and head designer about the new device. Campaign. You've been working on your campaign about human trafficking. You have linked it to the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons. You want to educate the public on this issue, and you want to try and get media coverage to raise awareness and money, and hopefully also increase the pressure on the government to change its policy on the issue. In order to gauge how newsworthy your story is, you can also ask yourself the following questions. Is it currently in the news? Is there an upcoming event or international day that could be paired with it? Will the story move people? Will you be able to highlight the public interest? In the next lesson, I will explain how you get the style right and write like a pro.